everybody, welcome to JLB Sports TV. I'm Justin Block, and today we are at number, what is it, 20 in my countdown to my predicted winner of World Cup 2012, and that team is Cameroon. Cameroon is currently 19th in the FIFA World Rankings, and they are one of the best African teams in the entire tournament. Now, they don't have the star midfielders like other African teams, like a, a Sully Muntari, or a Ziani, or a Steven Pinar, or a Yaya Torre, but their midfield generally provides good service to their star forward, Samuel Eto'o. If you don't know who Samuel Eto'o is, then you probably have been living under a soccer rock the past decade, because he's probably the best African striker ever, Although I'm sure Didier Drogba would have something to say about that. And a lot rests on Eto's shoulders. Now he's coming off a great season, he's in his prime. He just won back-to-back -back Champions Leagues last year with Barcelona, in which we bagged 28 goals in La, Liga, in La Liga and did the famous uh, Eto chop over Nemanja Vidic against Manchester United in that final. And he just won the Champions League with Inter. So good job to him. And he's probably their best player and probably the best African player. The team really relies on Eto'o and a lot rests on his shoulders, but they also have star goalkeeper Idris Carlos Khamenei, who plays for Espanyol of La Liga, and he's very, very, very respected in La Liga, and he's also probably the best African goalkeeper. They also have a quality pair of Tottenham defenders in Benoit Suakato and Sebastian Bassong. Um, Asuakato is very deadly down the flank, and Basang is just strong in the middle. Cameroon is a much older team, and these guys have a lot of wear and tear on the body, so that's something to look out for later in the tournament. But right now, they are 20th on my list in my countdown to the predicted winner of World Cup 2012. Basically, they're going to live and die in Samuelato and the gloves of uh, Kamini. So they, they have two of the best players in Africa, but they're not well-rounded as a team. So those are my two cents on Cameroon. And that's all for today for JLB Sports TV.